Okay. Hi, everybody. So, uh, this is Forever Bowl, and uh, Lori Knox is working on a full review of the game, but I figured we could do a quick first impressions sort of gameplay video. Um, and I am using the internal microphone on the Quest, so if the sound isn't the absolute best, you know, I hope you'll excuse that. Trying out the new feature where we can record our mic during capture. Um, speaking of which, I'm gonna have to turn off the music on the app because they do use licensed music. You've got tracks, uh, um, pretty famous tracks like Final Countdown, I Have a Tiger, stuff like that. Um, and if I record any of that while, if any of that gets recorded while I'm recording this video, we're gonna get a copyright strike. Um, so, there you go, music turned down, but it also shows you a settings menu, you've got your oil patterns, you've got your fro line that you can show while you're playing, but you can see while you're playing. Um, good stuff. So, first impressions of the game are actually pretty good. Um, as you can see, the graphics are pretty cool, kind of nicely polished, reflective surfaces over there, which you don't often see on a quest. And, uh... Well, let's get into a game first, and then we can talk about whatever stuff that we're seeing around us. So, it's actually got a good selection of game modes. You've got your single player, you've got free play or ranked play, you've got good multiplayer options, friend match, public match, but more importantly, and unusual, is you've got your pass and play feature, which allows you to locally play the game with up to eight of your friends. You can just play and pass it on to the next person. So that's very cool. You've got practice, you've got your tutorial, and for now, let's go into a ranked single player game so you can actually look at the game. We've got a few halls here. We've got the Forever 90s Hall, Lunar Lanes, which I've unlocked, and Studio 300, which I still haven't, and Champions Hall, which I still haven't. So let's get into this one. And here we go. Time to get into the game. It is a little unfortunate that I have to sort of do this now without any music because, you know, like in a 90s hall and stuff and they throw, like I said, licensed tracks at you. It's, you know, start, sort of the tracks you'd expect it to have in a 90s, I suppose. Lane, uh, like I said, I've heard I Have a Tiger, I've heard, um, what's it called, uh, Final Countdown. Okay, before I pick up a ball and play, uh, well, you'll see a few things. You've got, you've got your score display here. Oh, and it's using Oculus avatars. So you can see you show up as an Oculus avatar. Everybody around you is an Oculus avatar. If you're playing with friends, they will also be um, in their Oculus avatars, and you'll see their names displayed above their heads. Four of the balls, these are the free starting balls that you get. Um, and just touching them or looking at them, you can get your stats for each ball. You've so this one's, you know, 16 pounds and this one. This is this one's sort of a heavy sort of ball, I guess. I guess it goes straight, it doesn't spin much, so if you're not really in control of your spinning, it's a good ball to start off with, I found. Um, this is sort of a medium ball. Uh, it spins a little too much for my way of playing, I suppose, or I'm not yet in control of it, so I, I sort of avoided that a little, but I'll show you how it goes. And this one is fast, and it goes pretty straight, and it sort of, I guess it spins, uh, well, I guess it's medium between these two, but it does go pretty fast. Okay, so I'll start off with this one, and here we go. I hope I can, uh, play as well as I do when I'm not recording. There you go, you've got your indicator there, and that was not such a great throw. Um, I have played premium bowling before, and uh, one thing that I've noticed is, well, I mean, graphically, this does look more polished. In terms of authenticity of the gameplay, I'm not a great bowling player, uh, not a great bowler, so I guess I'm not the right person to ask, but Again, Lori's working on her review, and she's got more experience with premium bowling, so she'll be able to address that. But I do know that I, I tend, my scores here seem to be closer to what I score when I actually go bowling. When I actually go bowling, I usually score around, 
I average between 110 to 130, and that seems to be what I'm scoring here. When I tried premium bowling, I found myself scoring a lot more, which surprised me, uh, especially considering how, you know, people who do bowl have, have said that it feels pretty authentic, so I don't know. All right, here we go. Uh, see, there's a golden pin on this one, so theoretically if I hit that, I'm, I guess I get more experience points, which I can use for cosmetic stuff, so I hope this ball does the trick. There we go, we got a spare. And I got the golden pin, yay! All right, let's go on. Nope, not such a great throw. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think I'm doing worse because I'm recording. A little performance anxiety here for you guys. All right, nope, that was horrible. Okay, let's try to get my head on straight and play properly. Not happening. Yeah, nobody's ever gonna believe this, but I but I was doing far better before I started recording. Okay, okay. A little bit of salvation with a spare. Let's see if we can maybe get a strike. Ah close. Yeah, yeah. Another spare? Okay, that's not so bad. Um, I'll play with the blue ball just so you see what I mean about the spin. I don't know, it doesn't always spin out from me, but you'll sort of, you might see what I mean. Yeah, see, it spun a little hard there. I'll try it again, at the risk of not hitting at all. But see, yeah, it, it takes sort of spins that the golden ball does not. Um, let's show you the red ball. See, it spins a little, but not as much as the blue ball, but definitely a little more than the golden ball. So let's go back to the gold ball, just so I can try to salvage my score a little bit, considering it's, yeah, tragically low. Up above, you'll see the move indicator. That's not part of the game. That's just part of Oculus Move. Terrible throw. Everybody's watching this and probably thinking he really plays badly even when he's not recording, but I assure you that's not the case. Okay. Huh? Almost. That looks better. Yes! Strike! Okay, getting closer to my average score, I suppose. Come on, come on, come on, be nice. Another strike! It's a double. Can I get the third one? No! Of course I can't. Alright, well, there you go. So let's uh, let's go back to the lobby, and I can show you the achievements corner before we show you a little bit of um, the lunar lane. So if you go over here, you'll this is where you've got your unlocks. Basically, this is your arsenal with the balls that you want to use. I haven't unlocked these fine balls, <laughs> but again, you can see the stats for each one. So you've got some cool ball options to go for. You've got some instructions over here that sort of teach you a little bit about what's going on. And uh, yeah, so let's pick the lunar lane and you can take a look at that. It's pretty cool. Here we go. Okay, so here you go. You've got good old planet Earth in the sky rotating. We've got a little satellite there 
the graphics are pretty cool. Again, you've got the reflective sort of surfaces. You can see them on the lane over there. That's kind of cool. You got your little moon buggy. If you go back there, you're going to exit. And uh, let's let's get going. That's not so bad. But there we go. Strike! Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's a golden pin this time. Let's maybe I can. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, got the golden pin, but not quite a strike. All right. Let's see how this goes. And we got a spare. Okay. A little more. That's not such a great throw. Huh. Could have been worse. Nope. Gutter. Yeah. Okay. Not so good. Nope, that's horrible. Horrible. Huh. Okay, that's not an easy split to handle. Okay, it's a lost cause anyway, so might as, might as well try the spinny ball. Well, didn't spin quite so much this time, but... Let's try the spinny ball again, just for fun. Oh, that was... That was almost cool. If it spun just a split second later, it might have been a strike. Okay, back to the golden ball. Huh, there we go. But yeah, general first impressions are, are pretty good. The game is, the graphics are, are, are great when you're, especially, you know, if you're comparing to the other bowling games we've got. Um, the avatar usage is pretty cool, I think. It, and I'm sure it's a lot cooler when you're playing with your friends in multiplayer. Uh, and like I said, in terms of authenticity, I, I, this is closer to what I would score in real life. Um, so that's for something to be said there. Nope, that's not very good. Yeah, that looks good. Yes! Another strike. Okay. Hmm. Not quite. Okay, let's see if I can somehow get a spare. No, that's not a spare. So there you go. Well, again closer to what I claim to be my average score, which probably some of you don't believe right now, but there you go. So, yeah, that's a quick look at Forever Bowling. Uh, Lori Knox's review will be, uh, will be out soon. Uh, so, you know, you'll get our final sort of feel of the game and how we rate it. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give us a like. And if you generally like our channel, give us a subscribe. That would be much appreciated. If we're doing something you hate, give us a dislike. Tell us what we're doing wrong. We're always open to feedback. Um, that's it. Let's leave you a few last seconds of gameplay here. While we wrap up. Thank <laughs> you.